Hello, hello. So we were gonna have a Zoom class, um, but some people had some issues downloading the Zoom app. So I said, meh, let's just go live with it. Um, hello, Eugenia. So we're just gonna do a quick live on how to activate your um, grid. For those of you guys that were gonna have your grids ready and you were gonna join the Zoom, we had some people that had a hard time um, downloading the Zoom app. So I thought, okay, let's, let's just go ahead and do it this way this time. And as we get into the more detailed grids like the Metatron and some of like the Infinities, we'll go ahead and um, do those like on the Zoom so I can see how you guys are doing. Oh, no worries, sorry. <laughs> At least you can rewind it back, no worries. So guys, um, for those of you that were joining for this, uh, the grid class, this is the um, Flower of Life. And um, I have chosen some different stones on here. I thought I would show you, what's up, Judy? I thought I would show you a little bit of what it looks like finished. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the layers and then how to actually activate the grid. And then, um, you know, kind of get that stuff set up for you. So I'm going to just wait probably another couple more minutes for any other people who are hopping on here for the class. So in order to do this, hi, Cheryl. Thank you, Judy. So you'll just need your flower of life grid. I literally just printed this guy out um, just for the class purposes and it works. I mean, the grid is there, the crystals are there. They're doing what they need to be doing. I chose three different styles of crystals and then um, I chose some of these quartz and then I chose the um, tower or the amplifier to be just a regular quartz. This one actually has some really nice angel wings. So a little bit about this grid, guys. This is gonna be the middle of your grid. I chose, or I was, I chose, but I was also taught to, to pull for the clear quartz. This is a master crystal. A lot of the energy is gonna be amplified into this, and it's gonna come out this way. So you're gonna to wanna to take your quartz. You can use a cluster. I mean, you can really use whatever you want. Just be mindful to like how busy the crystal actually is. You're gonna want something to be um, very precise. So I just chose one of these. We have a bunch of these in the shop. Um, I just did this guy. I'm new to all this and wanna learn how to do the grid. Yeah, Cheryl, well, we were doing a Zoom, but we some of the students had a hard time downloading it. So what I'm gonna say for anybody who wants to join in when I do the Zoom so that I can actually see what your grids are looking like and how you're doing them, um, just make sure that you download the Zoom app. Now I also have this crystal off to the side and this is gonna be my wand. This is what I'm gonna use to actually activate my grid. So we've first off, we have a tower, a cluster, a stone, whatever you guys wanna use, and then you're gonna grab something else to be the wand. Now for me, I always grab a clear quartz. That's just a preference, but I grab a clear quartz because when I'm gonna start activating my grid, I want it to, I want it to be from a master crystal. All right, so first things first, right? I have taken my tower, I'm putting it in the middle. Yep, I did, lovey. I can see, I can send you yours again. But I'm gonna take my tower in the middle, this is gonna take all of the energy and then it's gonna amplify everything out. This one circle here, I have chosen to do a rose quartz. For me, when you're doing your grid, it's about what you kind of want to be amplified first. For me, I really want the love, the harmony, the balance. So I have actually put in my first circle, you guys can see, I'm gonna come up this way. You can see, this is my first circle. These are my rose quartz here, okay? So these are the first things that are kind of gonna get this blast. As the energy comes down, it's gonna spew out this way. So this is my rose quartz. My second circle, you can see I've used green adventuring. You can see me tracing that circle right there. So this one is gonna be um, about like 
also that balance, that opening, the uh, receiving communication. So this is why I've chose this guy. So he is in my second row of circles. And then my third row, this outer row that you see here, I have used um, angelite. So for this grid, I am really going to be manifesting peace and harmony, communication with my angelic realm, my higher, you know, my higher power, my, um, my ancestors, my source, all of that, the communication I want to be more intuitive. So that's my outer. But then you see I've got some things going on in between here, and I'm going to explain those to you guys really quickly, is that these also a master crystal. You see where this is pointing right here? You see my little point right there? I'm going to place that in between these two. I want this love and balance and communication to come straight. I want there to be an open area of communication to who my higher power is, my spirit guides, my ancestors, my source, vibe, deity, whatever. But if you notice that point is coming and it's taking in this energy. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. I know I like haven't even activated it. And it is a very strong one right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, dear God. Hopefully they can feel how strong this guy is. So it's taking and it's communicating. There's that point. That point is letting this guide into this crystal. All of my guys are pointed out. Hi, Diana. All of my little guys here are pointed outwards. Now you can point them in. You can point them out. That's really going to be your preference. So it's pointing out and toward, so it's coming down and making its way out here. I've also have some master crystals here as well. Clear quartz, guys, master crystal. You see the point is here. I went like this. I pointed in. I pointed out. I pointed in. I pointed out. I pointed in and out and in. So I want this to kind of have communication in and out and in and out and in and out. So just to give some credit, I taught, got taught all of my crystal healing, all of my grid work from Allie Phillips, who does Manifest Harmony. She's amazing. And she goes really into the science, but into the intuitive aspects of creating a grid. If you notice, these feel really, really nice together. It's not like a super grounding but moving forward. When you're doing your grid, guys, you want to make sure that you guys are asking it to be very clear. So when you look at this grid, this is a grid for love, balance, intuition, but clear messages between my guides and me. Okay? I'm going to show you from this perspective... For those that are you just hopping in, hello, my dear hearts. I was doing a, um, a Zoom today, but a couple of my students had a hard time getting on with the link. So I thought, ah, let's just go ahead and do this in person. Um, Flower of Life Grid. Here we go. So we've got the aesthetic. We've got what feels good to us. We've got our three rows, my one, my two, my out is three. I've got a little something, something, a little extra action, okay? I use these guys. If you have these guys laying around, if you have Lemurian, if you have clusters, use them. I'm giving a little bit of extra amplifying to this, okay? Now I'm going to activate my grid. Because it's pretty, we can have it sit out and it's a very beautiful grid, but until we activate it with our intentions, oh, don't worry, Lene, we're right here, girlfriend. Until we are activating this and programming it, then you're gonna start seeing some of the, you know, you're gonna start getting some of the, the, the quality and the purposes from it. All of these guys are working, but let's go ahead and program it. Yeah, Zoom is something else. <laughs> so here is my wand. I'm going to use this guy. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Angela. That makes me feel so good to know that they're listening. That is awesome. Here's my wand, guys. This is what I'm going to do. Here we go. I'm going to come tip down. 
And here's my tip. Sorry, I'm looking at it from inside the camera, not actually on it. I'm going to come really, really close. And you're going to start to feel this, guys. For those of you that are really sensitive to crystals, you will start to feel when I activate it. I'm not going to touch it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to connect. And Allie talks about finger painting it. And that's really what it feels like, guys. So I am taking it and I am attaching this to the rose quartz, to the adventuring, to the quartz, right? And I'm going to go clockwise. So I'm going to go one, two. Now I'm attached. Then I'm starting to um, smear these energies together. Three, four. I'm taking that angelite, coming back through, back up again. Mind you, I'm still pulling these three rows and it's going to start getting more intense. Five, six, seven, grab that guy, eight, and I'm still, I'm intensifying it, right? So this is where we start to feel the goosebumps. We start to feel how energetic this guy is. We're going clockwise. So you're going to do this a total of three times. Make sure not to touch the crystals. You don't want to disrupt them during this process. I am programming and I am activating and I'm saying, hey guys, I want you to connect me to my source. I want you to connect me to the angelic realm. I want you to help me be more um, intuitive, but I want you guys to work better in the most authentic way that you can. So weird. This is our last time here. Hi, lovey. Heather, I got you, girl. We're activating a grid right now. So here I am. I have not stopped the process. I'm now going three times. My crystals are talking. They are talking to each other. I'm picking up. I am taking the rose, the adventuring, that master crystal. So they're talking to each other. So now I'm going to stay up here. Mind you, I still have three rounds. Three rounds of that. It's intense. What am I going to do right now? I'm going to program my rose quartz with all of that love and intention. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to go into my second row with the adventuring guys. Here we go. So I'm going to come down this way. You're always going to come down towards you. Here I go. One, taking all of that to and three, this is my last time here. And then I'm going to go down here. This is where it gets really cool because the message is going to be in and out, in and out. Oh, I'm so glad, Joanna. Yes. So I'm going to um, let me activate this one last grid because I feel like it's really calling for me to complete it right up. But I'm going to go one on the outer layer. I have just connected all of the energy coming all the way around. This is now going to be my second round. So if you guys remember all of the past three times when we first started, one more. I have now connected all of that. Now I'm coming over here. I'm going to make my way back up to the top and then I'm going to pull up, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm taking my hands and I'm going to come in here and I like to create a little triangle. I come right in between guys and I allow me to connect with that energy. It's almost like saying I'm your mother. <laughs> like I, I'm going to connect and I'm going to feel and I'm just going to have a really sacred moment with it. Now, because I'm a Reiki master, I might kick it up a notch, guys. I might come in here and I might put a Reiki symbol in this guy, right? And I'm going to take it and I'm going to push that symbol right in there. Mind you, I'm not disturbing my crystals. I am not touching them. I am allowing them to communicate with each other. Now, what I'm going to do so that you guys can actually get a sacred moment with this is I'm going to ask you guys all to kind of sit back in your seat and then just allow for any of the... <laughs> I'm going to allow, so in your mind, think I am going to allow the feeling of this crystal and the, and the symbols that Wendy has put in this for me to actually feel it. 
I am gonna come here to the front and I am just gonna amplify this kind of towards you guys on the screen. So we'll just take a, a, just a second, if you close your eyes and just allow for the feeling of it. I have used tuning forks. I got them right there. I love that energy with crystal. Like there is no boundaries, guys. You can feel it anywhere. You are connected. So as I'm feeling this, I'm like, woo. I'm already getting the ringing in my ears. I'm already getting like, for me, my crown chakra is already like, hello. I feel like messages are even wanting to come through. So this is amazing that I've, they have worked so well. Yeah. Like even in my throat chakra, it's like, woof. But it's just like a really nice time to sit with the crystal itself. So that is this beautiful, this is the flower of life. She is gorgeous. And then what you do, guys, is you find a space for your grid to go and you leave it there. You leave it there to manifest. I know people who have put a grid up and left it there for years. Now, let's say you want to be done with the grid. You're welcome, Heather. Let's say you want to be done with your grid, right? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say my crown really, really, really felt open. Also, guys, you are sitting in a space where I do all of my attunements to my students, my Reiki masters, where I do healing sessions. So we're on the bed, the Reiki bed that I actually use and I put my clients on. So this is a real powerful space. So I'm really glad that you guys got to come in and feel kind of this sacred space that I have. But that is how you're going to activate your crystal, guys. You got to, I would say, I'm going to be a little bit picky on this. I'm going to tell you to grab a clear quartz. It can be this. It could be as easy as a clear quartz um, point. You know what I mean? You're going to use, these are master crystal, these are master crystals. You're going to want to have a master crystal to amplify this. Now, when you're done with your grid and it's no longer going to serve you and you want to give it a different purpose, you would just come in. I'm actually not going to undo mine just so that you guys can feel the residual off of it. You're just going to come and take this, point this down and thank it. Yep. Oh, um, Allie Phillips. So for manifest, manifest harmony. I just completed my um, advanced crystal class with her. But gridding is like my jam. It's absolutely amazing. I got one better for you guys. I am going to take this grid and I'm going to stick it underneath my energy table so that my clients, when they get um, service from me, will get the residual off of this grid. So for those, thank you. For those of you that... Um, I usually say if you feel something residual off of this, then that was, you know, it's really nice to have it. And I love that I've got the angel light up here as well. Yep, thank you. I'm going to actually um, pin this comment. Thank you. So my mom is on here, Kate Brown. So if you see her right here, it's Manifest Harmony, and this is Allie's class. This is the woman that have, has taught me... Um, taught me all of these beautiful crystal grids. Look, <laughs> exactly. Um, also, while Kate is on here, Kate also does crystals. She's an aromatherapist professional. She teaches a lot of different stuff too. So hopefully um, you guys get an opportunity to sign up for any of those classes. But crystals and essential oils, I can't even right now with like what that would feel like. But I wanted to just take a minute to show you guys 
one that's been activated and I just, I'm, I'm so in love with it. I love, 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 love it. Now, when it comes to the different ones, I'm probably gonna do a Zoom so that I can see how you guys are doing it. Also, like I said, I like to put in my, put in my Reiki symbols in there. Um, I'm hoping to do those. Actually, I'm going to be doing those um, in July, Chanel. So I'm, I'm going to be leaving my job and I'm going to be full time in the shop and energy work. So in July, I'm going to start those full sessions because I want to make sure that I'm um, fully concentrated on that and not having another, you know, having another job. But yep, so distance sessions will be done in July. Online Reiki classes will be done in July. Um, on the 11th, we are just releasing that we have a candle magic workshop that Michael Whitcomb um, is going to be doing. You can do that in person with us or Zoom. We'll give you more details of that. So, oh, thanks, Lene. So um, that will be a candle magic. And then we've got a bunch of other stuff. It's going to be super exciting. I'm going to set out a calendar for you guys to decide. I'll get a calendar from my mother-in-law, Kate, for her essential oils and Reiki. Essential oils, Reiki. Essential oil and um, crystals. She does a couple other things too. Aromatherapy, if anybody is interested in aromatherapy. Um, perfect. Okay, I see your message. Thanks, love. Um, but yeah, so we'll have some of those for you guys as well so that you can, you know, be able to get some of these. We have some amazing teachers. We are super blessed with the knowledge that they give us. So I want to be able to share that with you guys. I care about you guys and your crystals and how you're being taught. So I'm happy, happy, happy to share these amazing women and men. But okay, guys, I am going to take off. I want to thank you for being, it was such, such a nice feeling to share activating this with you guys. If you want to take a screenshot of this so that you can see the patterns, go ahead and take a screenshot. Um, if you have any questions about it, please reach out to me. And then I will have Kate's information. I will put Allie's information. And then I'll put Michael's information on there too. So I will have a calendar here soon for you guys. So a lot of online teaching, in-person teaching, our normal, crystal, our normal crystal sales. But a lot of just, you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. A lot of giving you guys information and sources. You're welcome, Diana. Congratulations on your biz, Diana. I love it. Looks like you're doing so well. I'm so excited for you. My crystal sister. <laughs> All right, guys, have a very wonderful rest of your Saturday and be intuitive and magic. You guys are all magic and fabulous. We love you all from Natural Collective and we'll see you soon.